hello and welcome back to another vlog today is a gloomy day i have a few things going on around the apartment and i figured why not vlog i just got off the phone with my driving school and got bad news i originally wanted to get my license or like take my driving test at the end of november because that's what I thought we agreed on but the owner just told me that the only available dates at the moment are December 23rd, December 24th, and December 30th which is my birthday and I'm so upset kind of so I'm trying I'm trying to not to let that affect my day because honestly it it did for like a good 30 minutes and then I was like you know what I'm just going to pull the camera and vlog other things and try to distract myself but yeah it's just a little upsetting because I really wanted to get my license before like winter and before it potentially snows because i feel like i'm if it does snow i'm most likely going to fail the test 100 percent. anyways this is today's vibe on the tv i usually always put a fireplace or something that's like peaceful in the back just because i honestly love the vibe that it gives so i'm going to link it down below i will also try to link the fireplace one that i love to put aside from that i am really excited because i just got a package from Saks of fifth that i am so obsessed with and i cannot wait to show you guys the pieces that i got today's video is sponsored by Saks of fifth you guys know that i work with them recently and i personally really love shopping on their website you can save up to 70 percent of designer brands at Saks of fifth and also get free shipping on orders over 99 dollars so with that being said let me show you guys the pieces that i scored so these are the items that I just ordered from them. This beautiful cardigan. The tones are so perfect for fall. It has orange, creams, browns, this like mustard color. But the actual material is so soft and cozy. I'm going to show you guys how it fits. And I got it in a size extra small if you're wondering. This is the brand. I also got this puffer jacket that I've been wanting and needing actually for this fall and winter coming up. So this one is from Michael Kors and I also got it in a um, extra small. It has a hood. It's also so soft, like so, so soft. That's two pockets. I just really like the material and I feel like it's going to be great for the fall and winter. And lastly, I got two boots that I am so excited about. So if you guys know, I am obsessed with Stuart Weitzman boots. They are the best in my opinion. I've always struggled finding boots that fit me right up here because they're always way too big for me. And Stuart Weitzman boots are probably the only ones that fit me well. So these are currently on sale. They have leather on this side and then they have um, this like stretchy material on the back and the heel looks like this. I just love the fit of these. And then I also got a pair of Dolce Vita boots, which I've been needing some cream brown boots so these are a beautiful caramel color and they were only 69.99 the heel is also really nice all right so this is what the cardigan looks like it's like a boxy fit and i feel like it's perfect for thanksgiving so catch me wearing this for thanksgiving and then this is what the boots look like on i would obviously wear it with different pants but really really like them and then lastly this is what the puffer jacket looks like it's a really flattering beautiful fit and again it's so soft and cozy and i love the fact that it has a hood and the boots are my absolute favorite i just love how they fit and also how comfortable they are. I highly recommend for you guys to check out saxofit.com and find some new arrivals and fall trends perfect for the fall and winter. You can save up to 70% on designer items and like I mentioned, get free shipping on orders over $99. So definitely check it out. I'm going to link all of the pieces that I got in the description. All right, so I'm actually going to make something to eat really quickly we kind of meal prepped early this week so i'm just going to heat up some chicken rice 
and avocado on the side. I went to a Korean supermarket this week and got this fruit right here. And like, I literally got it two days ago and I think it has mold. No, it wasn't that good. It kind of tastes like lychee and the rambutan fruit that I like. Another thing, this weekend we went to a haunted house and got these apple cider donuts. I'm not a donut person, I know, weird, but apple cider donuts, you guys, holy. But I don't know what to do with the fruit now. Like, do I put it in water? Do I throw it away? We're gonna, we're gonna rinse it. All right, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you could even tell, but let's have one. Fun fact about me, I love trying new fruits so much. It's like, it doesn't taste good. It did not pass the vibe check. Wanna throw that away? After I have something to eat, I have to go downstairs and pick up so many packages that I have because I've been putting it aside since I didn't want it to be in the apartment when I filmed the apartment tour. I'm sure they probably hate me in my building because I swear I have like 27 notifications. But this is something else I want to do in this video. I got these nails from Kiss. These are amazing. I already own the oval shape, so I wanted to get the square ones. And I honestly really, really love these nails. They last almost two weeks for me, especially because this glue is amazing. But I want to do a quick mani, perhaps at the end of the video, because if I do it now, I know for a fact I'm going to ruin my nails. And it's not a good idea, so. All right, lunch is ready. Again, I just heated up some rice and chicken. And I am also going to have a spin drift, which I've been loving with my meals. By the way, you guys, we just finished Squid Game. Oh my God, that show is not for the week. Number one, it's such an amazing show, but it's definitely not for the week. I think they're going to do a season two, which is pretty cool. All right, just finished having some lunch. I'm now going to head downstairs and try to pick up all the boxes, so pray for me. You guys, <sighs> this car is filled to the brim with boxes and then there's like eight more huge boxes downstairs that I'm not even going to bother bringing up because we're going to take it straight to the storage room. So yeah, let's open up some boxes. Unboxing has been done. I am now going to get ready to paint my nails But you guys one of the packages. I am so Excited for let's just say the little girl in me that used to love DIY is screaming from happiness I cannot wait to show you guys that video. Let's move on to painting my nails I have pinned some cute like little nail arts. I'm going to attempt my best to do some sort of nail art on my nails, but no promises because I feel like I've lost my touch. I'm not sure which color to paint my nails, honestly. I've been loving these dark green tones. Oh, this one is the one that I have on right now. But it looks like it's in the color the first lady of nails. Alright, so I ended up choosing between these two colors. I think I'm gonna go for a brown. I'll list the names below. Then I have the nails like I mentioned, this top coat, and here are some of my nail inspos that I've saved. I'm thinking of doing this one, which is just like pretty simple. So we shall see. I have nail polish remover, cuticle remover, and oil. Let's do it.
update i totally forgot to film myself painting my nails this is what it looks like i just basically winged it did a little french here some blood drippies in the middle finger this angled one and then just regular on these two i haven't painted my nails in a long time like actually done a nail art so i didn't want to stress angling the camera correctly or you know just placing the camera in the right place and for the nail art to show because i get really up close whenever i do nail art but this is the color that i used which i feel like it's a perfect fall color it's from opi and it's in the shade inside the Isab isabellette way i think it's a beautiful brown but yeah maybe next time i'll show you guys how i created this i think i'm going to end today's vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to check the description box for all of my sacks of fifth pieces and also don't forget to check out their new arrivals because they have the best pieces for the fall and winter so thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye